lifting of the governor's state of emergency will have very little impact on our current recovery efforts. We don't plan on reducing any of our efforts to get people vaccinated. However, I do disagree with Hogan's statement that this is the end of recovery. We're not there yet. Um, I want to be you know, perfectly clear about this. The economy was severely um, blasted by COVID. And the businesses that have closed, the people who are never coming back again, those, those businesses are not going to be reopened, many of them, by, the, by July 1st. Um, people who close permanently aren't going to reopen at all. And so this notion that now it's just the end of recovery and everything goes back to normal, we may be approaching a new health normal, but we're still not re approaching a new economy, the old economy normal. And until then, things like rental assistance and protection from evictions are going to remain really important. The eviction moratorium he announced will last till August 15th. Um, I would have preferred that the governor had tied evictions, um, the moratorium, and frankly, the unemployment benefits to the achievement of unemployment metrics. But I hope the governor will think about this, extend the moratorium a little bit longer, give us a metric, and let's all prepare for the point when we can get ourselves um, to the point we can actually say we've had an economic recovery. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay informed on all things in Montgomery County.